Which is hell. Will it scare you? The other night, Nikki here and I went to go see A Quiet Place. Nikki is the one that always does our uh, our photography. So I do the picture thing. Yeah, you do the picture things. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we decided to go see A Quiet Place, and it's been out for about three weeks now. So if you haven't seen it... Spoilers. Yeah, ma- major spoilers. So uh, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's on you. We waited just, a while. Just if, if you haven't seen it yet, just go away for a little bit. Yeah, and then come back. Yeah, after this episode. But before we jump into the original rating and scale that we already have set, that you've heard uh, me and Tim do before, we're going to start off with um, plot holes. Uh, mm-hmm. now, now, don't sh- think this is like a bad thing. Just hear us out until the end. But we are going to start off with some plot holes. So for those of you who have seen the movie, um, we don't know what everybody's name was. They never, they never told us their names. Yeah, uh, um, unless we completely miss something. So we have some names for them for uh, for all of you. So um, there was Georgie, the little uh, the little boy who looked like Georgie who died in it. Um, yeah, and he, he also that was the four <laughs> that was the four year old toddler. Yeah, he, the guy who wanted. To float with his rocket. Oh my god. What? <laughs> He's dead too. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, there was Deaf Girl. Um, that, I, you guys all know who I'm talking about. Yep. Um, there was Sick Boy. Sick Boy. Yes. Yeah. He was sick in the beginning. Yeah, so he's known as Sick Boy. And then everybody's favorite Jimmy John Halpert. <laughs> In case you haven't seen it, he's um, Jim Halpert from The Office. Yeah, he's also the director of this movie. His first uh, first horror movie that he's directed, and I, I would say he did a really good Hell fucking yeah. job on that. I agree. Um, and then there was uh, Pam number two. Pam <laughs> The wife. Um, and then uh, there was Little Bean, the baby. <laughs> and then uh, we, we have two more. Uh, Destined to Die Number One, <laughs> which is the old Does man in the his woods. Face like scrunch up. Yeah, he was just like, <laughs> oh my god. His face like contorted into something completely different. <laughs> and then uh, his wife, um, Puddle of Grandma. <laughs> Puddle. Yeah, Puddle of Grandma. <laughs> so she, she's. Um, yeah, we, we have no idea what the fuck that was about. But that brings us up to a couple of questions that we have. Um, so yeah, if you haven't obviously seen it, turn away now. Number one, no one's watching Georgie, and he's only four years old, and he's at the back of the line alone. When they all know pretty well that there's, you know, these monster creature things everywhere. They know that for a fucking fact. It's not like, I have a hunch that people are going missing by these damn things. They've seen them. Uh... The, <laughs> they just don't seem to care for some fucking reason. They definitely dropped the ball on this one. I mean, the mom only has a backpack. Jim is actually, like, doing something. He's holding the sick boy. Um, deaf girl is just kind of, like, chilling. And Georgie dies. Georgie dies. Georgie gets taken the fuck out. Um, yeah. I, I honestly can't fully believe that yeah. someone who is supposed to be that caring in a movie... Uh, would be doing such a thing. They obviously have seen all the fucking monsters. Jim Halpert has even... <laughs> Jim. <laughs> He's Jim got... John. Yeah, he, Jimmy John's has already fucking, you know, documented three of them. Yeah. And at least from what he, he knows in that whole area. From what he can tell, yeah. So why is he just, you know, hey, you can chill back there, little sport. I'm going <laughs> to stay up here with your mother. You're the caboose of the train. You can just follow don't, don't stray off the line. Not yeah. Else we'll be paying attention. Um, following that, uh, my, my question is, why the hell, or not why the hell, but how the hell did they make it all the way home after that? Because the thing is obviously using, like, echolocation. You can hear it clicking throughout the movie. It would have heard Jim running towards the little boy. Right. Right? Yeah. So how did they make it home unscathed? Or just like, you know, you know? Right. like if, if there's multiple in the area and even at the end, they show that there's more than fucking three. Nope. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, when 
uh, Dustin to die number one decided to scream and he got taken out. Um, they it didn't find Jimmy John and Sick Kid. Yeah, but the, the point about that is that they started running before the thing got up to him. This thing took out Georgie in front of John. Yeah, that's true. Or Jim. John Jim. I called him by his real name. Damn it. You win this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I think that something would have happened after that. So that, to me, that's a little like, I don't know. It's debatable. It's debatable, mm-hmm. but whatever. Um, and then I'm sure most people agree with us on this one is that how the fuck did she give birth in five minutes? Yes. Oh, my God. The first thing that I said. It, like, that's not even possible. That never happens. Yeah, because I'm just like, oh, shit, yeah, she got eaten. I mean, I guess it it can happen. I don't know how labor works. I haven't been pregnant. But <laughs> no, no, from what I've heard, like, I mean. I know that my mom was in labor with me all day Just see the movie, long. and it's just, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm a guy, so, I mean, you shouldn't listen to me anyway, but just saying. I know, like, to cover up her screams and whatnot, they use the, the rockets, the firecrackers. Yeah, yeah. Fireworks, whatever you Which want to call Which is smart. It. That's brilliant. Yeah, no. They did a lot of planning into that birth, but just does not make sense how it would go through that quickly. Mm-hmm. And then how, like, quickly the baby was easy to, there's like, oh, you know, it's down. Easy to relax and not yeah, screaming whatever. when it was born. It's like, oh, that's pretty mighty convenient, you know? Like, how good is your luck in this situation? Right. I mean, I know your fucking kid was just taken out, like, da- a year. N- yeah, about a year ago. A year. Yeah. But still, still, you know? Um, yeah, it just felt janky, you know? Yeah. But quickly jumping back away from the whole pregnancy thing, um, remember the Destined to Die and the Predal Grandma? I want to know what the hell she did. She had to have yeah, pissed him off or like something. Yeah, they're just, like, standing in the middle of the woods. Like, she's just dead. She's just gutted. He's just like, eh, and then screams. Well, she, he, uh, I think she had gotten killed by one of those creatures because it it showed the scratches in her stomach I thought he gutted her no it showed the three the scratches oh like, like you know how I, I, you mean gashes end, get, yeah scratches gashes. scratches they're not scratches they're fucking um, gashes. <laughs> but you know how at the end when Jimmy John got scratched it showed like the, the three or four claw marks it showed that in her stomach as well. Oh, okay. I missed that part. That's I, when, I thought, when it was focusing on, like, the sick boy. I might have been eating my nachos. <laughs> I might have just... You're trying to dig that last little cheese out of the corner. I'm just like, I need this. Ooh, <laughs> gory scene. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I wanted, I wanted more context behind all that. I wanted to know... Because they were just, like, walking in the woods, and I don't know where they ran into those two. It's like, boo, grandma. Okay, she's dead. Grandpa... Soon to be dead. <laughs> it was destined to die. Destined to die. And then they ran away and avoided death. But, um, yeah, they, uh, definitely didn't have a good time in the woods there. <laughs> Don't go camping in them woods. Nope, that's definitely not Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you went the wrong way. Well, after after Jim gets completely fucked to death by Mr. Monster Claw, the kids start the truck and try to drive it back to the house where their mom is, right? We never see them <laughs> eating people and just killing people. So my, my next question is... Yeah, I know I worded that weird. <laughs> I'm, stuck, I'm still stuck on Mr. Monster Claw. Mr. Monster Claw. Uh, why, why didn't it follow them... You know, quickly back. Like they show it moving really super quick. It took out the truck. It took out Georgie like he was fucking hit by a like a speeding car. Yeah, like just gone. Yeah, like insta death. I don't think they actually turned the truck on though. He pushed. He just pushed the pushed it into gear. But still, that's still gonna create noise. That's true. And like with the um, the amount of force going down that hill, you see them like gliding for a good amount of time. Like, they're going e- easily going, like, 35, 40 miles an hour. Yeah. So, my question is, like, I- as little amount of noise as they're making, they're still making noise. There's nothing covering up that noise. Mm-hmm. That thing just launched himself and took out Jim Halpert, so the office is canceled. <laughs> there is no reunion. No! Yeah, J- Jimmy John's is dead. Pam, Pam is probably dead, too. I mean, Pam 2's there. Pam 2's there. But original Pam... 
<laughs> that's what you get for leaving Pam. Yeah, that's what that's what that's happens. That's what you get for quitting your day job, living <laughs> in the woods as a mountain man. That's that's not well, kind of. <laughs> it's like farmland, but it's farm. Uh, they were surrounded by woods. The thing took him out in like one one swipe, right? Yeah. Why didn't it just turn around and just like take the other thing out or right. take the take, take the, the kids tractor, out? Yeah. You know, like yeah, did it just swing? I was like, shit, that was. Oh man, I swung way too hard. I went through that like <laughs> butter. I just threw my arm out. I gotta give this a second. Oh man. And, like the other monsters come out. They're like, "You okay, dude?" He's like, "No, dude." Because <laughs> there's more than one. Oh, dude. Oh. And the other guy's like, "Holy crap, that's Jimmy Helper." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, dude, you ruined the office." <laughs> like the show was already over. They had to sit there and talk about it for a minute. Yeah, and they're just like, well, they had to explain what the office was to him. And it's just like, "Oh man, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird." And I just gashed this guy, dude. I just gutted him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I got to go kill those kids. You want to come? <laughs> oh, yeah. Help like, me out, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to search the field for a minute. You, you go ahead. And while they're all doing that, that's when they're, like, reuniting with their mom. They're like, let's get into the basement. Yeah. <sighs> well, they couldn't go to their safe spot where it was soundproofed with newspapers because it got flooded. That's true. That's and true. And then, you know what I want to know? Hmm. Is how that one got down in there. What, down into the basement? Yeah. Because Jim had covered the hole again with the mattress. You're so right. How, how did it know to go down there? You're 100% and right. How, how could it cut through a mattress that, when it can cut through a silo? Not, that's <laughs> not what I'm talking about. Like, how did he know that it was, like, down there? True. I mean, he could have heard the, the baby. Lid, but how did the lid get off of the baby if the mom was sleeping? Maybe she kicked it off. Because they had it in the box. Um... How did the lid just randomly fall off? Yeah, Jim Halpert. <laughs> Explain that one. Oh, wait, he can't. Oh, shit. Mr. Monster Claw got him. We don't have anyone to ask. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, well, he's off to a quiet place, isn't he? Ah, I hey, see what title you did drop. there. I see anyway, what you did. So after, after they're down in the basement, they... Figure out the weakness behind these things, and throughout the movie, like you, you've obviously seen it because uh, the deck girl keeps getting the the, the frequency. The first like, time when she didn't know it was behind her. Yeah, it, like she still didn't know until all the way up to the end, and when she sees it and she does it, like yeah, that's cool and everything. But I will say this is that it's it very much mimicked, at least to me, Mars Attacks. I haven't seen that movie, so I. There's the aliens, and um, I'm not saying that this is an alien or anything like that. It's more like a monster or something like that. I I don't know if he's explained it, like, what they actually are or where they're from, but uh, maybe we should look into that. But maybe that's more spoilers that we can give people later on. Yeah. Maybe. Unless they've already know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> We're just stupid. <laughs> Uh, in Mars Attacks, they use a song, and their aliens ha- alien heads explode. And it, it's a comedy. It's it's really funny comedy, but uh, that's just what it reminded me of. Mm-hmm. But the way that they use the frequency in this is not the exact same way as Mars Attacks. It just re- reminded me of it. So it's kind of like, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I get, I get the general gist of it because of the other movie. But it's not like their heads exploded or anything like that. It, like, incapacitated them, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then, you know, mom comes in and blows the fucking head up her. fucking shotgun. Like, hell yeah. Um, and then, lastly... Was that a rifle? Uh, what? No, it was a shotgun. Okay, that's what I thought. Pump action shotgun. Um, the ending. Uh, I know this is going to be re-referenced <laughs> once we go through the rating thing. But the ending, holy fuck, what the fuck? Made me mad. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm s- dropping the F bomb a lot, but oh my god. This ending so frustrating. fucking blue balled you. Yeah, for real. It, like, it was so good. It was so good. You're and about then, to see shit go down, and then like, it's just black. You don't end the movie on wave one. Right. Like, wave one, here they, they killed, come. They killed one. And it's like a mother and they daughter like, bonding moment. Right? And there were, like, what, at least five or six more on their way. Yeah. And she, like, the girl, like, ups the wattages or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm about to, to rock this shit, mom with a fucking shotgun. Just cocks it and then like, it fucking credits. Like, let's do this and then just, oh, my God. And just like, jaw slowly drops like, you're, you're kidding me, right? You're kidding. Like, come on. Nope. So they either mm-hmm. 
kick some ass and manage to survive, or they were all killed. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Uh, oh my god, I'm going to feel bad if there's like an after credits scene. And we missed it? Yeah. Uh. We saw it late, and you had to get up at 4.30 in the morning. No, so. I had to be at work at 4.30 Oh, in the at morning. work. Yeah, so yeah, screw that. Um, but yeah, th- I, we, we hope that there's a second one. At least I, I know I do. Uh, I just hope that if there is a second one, that it continues off from this last one, like and just it right after. Goes a little bit more into detail about some of the things, maybe. Yeah, one. I guess another question I have is like, what's going on with those uh, people out in the distance? It's like when they're lighting the fires, yeah, with the like fires. signal. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that that's like the people who are still alive. Like, are you right, still good today? Like in the area. Yeah. Um. Unless we misread that. For whatever reason. But, all right. Well, because when he lit his up, didn't, like, four others go up? Yeah, I think so. Because it panned one way, it panned the other, and then he looked back at the house. Yeah, there were a couple out in the distance. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, let's get into the rating system. So, for uh, the ambience of the movie, I would give that... About a 10. I'd give yeah. that a 10. It fit exactly what it was supposed to feel. Oh, yeah. Like apocalyptic, very isolated, but still like there is life out there, just really stranded. Mm-hmm. Really. They, they can't do anything but Thin the survive. herd. Yeah. Like they are the, uh, they are the hunted. Mm-hmm. Um, the story structure. I did like it, but I'd have to give it an 8 just for some of those plot holes. Yeah. And like, overall, I did think it was a really good movie. But the the holes, I do agree, kind of leave a few questions. Yeah, mine's mainly the, the whole baby scene. Yeah. Like, but, I don't... Labor doesn't happen that fast. <laughs> um, Not from what I've heard. The villains. I would give that... They're terrifying. A ton, yeah. That's they per- are terrifying. They're unique. And the way that they look, like, fuck yeah. that. I mean, I've seen... Like, if I saw that thing coming at me, I would probably die right there. Certain concepts in a way. Oh, what, what did it remind me of? It reminded me of, like, a praying mantis that went to, like, the Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> that, like, fused with an alien. It, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's really fucking weird. Um, The production value, I thought, was really good. Mm-hmm. I, I would give that a 10. That was actually really good. Um, the acting, I would give that a 9. 8.5. 8.5? 8. 8.5. Okay. You know what? I'm going to agree with you on that. 8.5. Mm-hmm. Give that an 8.5. Um, originality, I did like how it was told, how it was shown. Um, I'd give that probably around a 9. Yeah. Uh, believable, as in the whole thinning out the herd like monsters or wherever the whatever these things are killing us, and like we're not the big species anymore. I could see that. I could see that. If something, if something I, else saw that they could kill us, and oh god, yeah, they, they would do it in a heartbeat. Oh, they would yeah. do it in a heartbeat. We do it to fucking animals all the goddamn time. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's. I agree with that. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I could see that happening. Um, as of, like, likeliness and stuff like that, I don't know, so I might give that... Nine. I'm going to give that an eight. I'm going to stick with a nine. And then, was the ending just? Fuck no. no. Fuck no. I would give that ending Give me a more. Two. Give me more. I love the movie, but the way it ended, two. I'm sorry. So, uh... Okay, let's see. Um, I'm giving mine a two. Uh, the use of CGI, which was mainly like the, the monsters the and stuff like that. They did a really good job with that. Um, I would say. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. Wait, what? Let's don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's picking at a cannon. I'm like, not picking at it. I'm trying to, twi- to twist this thing out of the way so it won't stab me. You're cutting your fingers. I'm not. You're going to write in blood. No, it won't. <laughs> and if I do, I'll make sure it's on the walls. Brutal. 
uh, twists in the movie, which the twist was like the end part of the movie, mm-hmm. um, their weakness, which was sound, and you already heard my view on the, you know, the relation between how they use that and Mars Attacks, but they did it in their own respective right, so I would give that a nine. Not a perfect ten, but not a low number, but I, I liked it. I liked yeah. how it was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Um, especially with their, them being like technically blind and just using sound. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, that still kind of... Hmm. That still kind of leaves me with the whole, like, if they are using, like, the echolocation, like, there are a few points where they're literally, like, standing right there in front of, like, the actors, and, like, they they will be moving, like, in the basement when she was moving away from it. Or not in the basement, whatever, their little secret hole. Mm-hmm. Their safe spot. Yeah. When she was moving away from it, like, it just, it didn't do anything. Yeah. But if it was using the echolocation, it would have known that she was there, because either way, she was moving. True. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, adding up my score really quick. (laughs) And, uh, I kind of changed a few of them, I think. But, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I gave Ambience a 10, story structure an 8, villains a 9, production value 10, acting 8.5, uh, original, eh, originality 9, believable 9, uh, was the ending just? I'm keeping that at a fucking 2. I almost changed it to a 1. Uh, use of CGI, if any, 10. Uh, twists, I gave that an 8, actually. Just change your mind again? Yes, I did, because I just keep coming back to it, and I can't fully give it that number and not think twice about it. Yeah. I feel comfortable at an eight. Yeah, an eight sounds good. Yeah. Well, uh, I just added up all of mine, and I know you, I think you changed a few of yours. Yeah, I but, did. But uh, added up yours, too. So with all of mine, I gave the movie an 83.5 out of 100. You gave it a perfect 85. I wouldn't say perfect 85, but <laughs> it's it's 85. A, a rounded even. 85. Yeah, a rounded 85. So it's not a perfect movie, but it is definitely an enjoyable movie. And I did like you, it. Take you on an adventure that is definitely enjoyable and a very dark adventure, it's to dark. be sure. It's very suspenseful. Yeah, You're, I, like, on the edge of the seat. And um, John Krasinski, I know we've been calling him Jim this entire time, but it's definitely cool to see him in this type of Oh, role. yeah. I loved it. Yeah. He did a really great job. Yeah. They all did, I mean. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, props to everybody on that. Mm-hmm. The crew, everything. Uh, so, yeah, that was our rating. Go see it for yourself and tell us what you think about the movie in the comments. Let us know. Until next time. Which is hell? Will it scare you?